I, I've seen very little of myself on film. Usually because I feel uncomfortable in what I see, even when it's good, even when it, what passes for being good. Uh, I guess the story I've told more often than any is uh, when I worked with uh, Kubrick and Strangelove, and Lord knows uh, it was a magnificent picture, we all know that, and apparently I pulled my weight in it, but I went through the worst day of my life the first day on that picture because I began to blow in my, in my lines, and I went 48 takes at Shepard and Studio, and uh, I had the cigar and all the dialogue, the military jargon, you know, and I'm beginning to blow and blow and blow. And something said to me, sure, I'd had trouble before, you know, talking about eight takes, 10 takes, 12 takes, huh? But now we're getting up into 20, huh? And now we're doing, as you know, what are called pickups. And I can't even do one damn line, huh? And I'm pouring sweat and they're mopping me off. Now, a beautiful thing happened, speaking of Stanley Kubrick. I finally got up, I couldn't take it anymore. And I walked up to him and I said, Stanley, I apologize to you. And he said this to me, one of the loveliest things any man has ever said to me in my life. He said, Sterling, I know you can't help what's going on and you know I can't help you. He said, but the terror in your eyes, on your face, may just be the quality, and now he said, he said, the quality that we want in this jackass general, Jack Ripper. He said, if it is not, come back in another couple of months and we'll do it all over again. Uh -huh. Now, that was lovely, wasn't it? I'll never forget that. Uh -huh. And I came back, I went out with Kitty uh, across from Brown's Hotel there and uh, had, uh, I don't know, maybe what, uh, two or three double shots of Black Label and went back and no, pot, 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 uh, it worked out. Uh -huh.